the addition of an elevator is absolutely huge. You know, we want to be able to be compliant with local codes. We want to be thoughtful how we can serve all of the needs, the unique needs that are inside of our community. Of, I know we've talked a lot about the new gym, but we don't want to forget about that elevator and the accessibility that is going to just immensely help and show accommodation and a welcoming feature to those that just cannot use steps. They don't have to walk down three flights of stairs. We're going to have an elevator that'll make our school ADA compliant. Now if we have a uh, student who has a disability, they can now get to the multiple levels of the school rather than not maybe come to school at St. Paul's, which would be a huge disservice to anybody that wanted to come here. So I, a new gymnasium in many aspects is a huge blessing for us. But what about the kid who didn't get a chance to come down because he can't navigate stairs? What about the grandparent or the other relative that has some type of physical difficulty trying to get up and down stairs? They don't have access to be able to see all of those things. And so we really need to think about how we can take our whole school and make it accessible to everybody. So here I'm standing in what is our current school cafeteria, but this is also going to be the house of the elevator that we're going to be able to use to get to the other levels of our school. As you can see, our new gymnasium mission is right here. I could push the button if it were a real elevator. Someday we're working on it, but I can push the button, elevator doors will open. I can go in and go down, start coaching my team, or I can go in, go down, and enjoy watching a basketball game as a member of St. Paul's community.